So, I'll be honest with you guys. I actually want to give that vision another try because I feel like I messed up. Now, I'm hoping that there's going to be like a little extra pop up here for that orb that I just got. I kind of want to redeem myself. So, let's get back into that vision. Driven mad by Nazoth's whispers, Thrall believes that the elements warn him of a disaster that only the Old God can prevent. Now all of Orgrimmar drinks the blood of Nazoth, twisting the Horde into a frenzied war machine. Ah, there it is. Alright, so stick to one side. Instead of all the ads on both sides. Just pick one side. The more enemies you take down, the more mementos you can get. Back to full sanity. The elements right, here we go. have spoken. Azeroth is you will drink or you will die. It's too far away. Shut right. The blood of the old no. god is our only salvation. Watch your step. Where's the book I'm supposed Might. to do? Shut right. Ow. Shock wave. Watch your step. Can overcome his might. Shock wave. Ouch. Shock wave. Okay, I cannot interrupt that. Shock wave. Okay. Alright. Vision exploration concluded. Initiating exit protocol. A blow well struck, hmm. but this was only the beginning of Nizoth's vision. Additional horrors lurk throughout the city. Find them, and vanquish them. Okay, so I thought the book was going to be right there in the room with Thrall. I never saw it. Maybe it was behind him, like outside. Ugh. <sighs> Oh, never mind. It was actually in the chest. Okay, I take back what I just said. Okay. Oh, I got a pet! I got a gear, I got an essence, and I got the book. I got a Void Link Frostwolf Collar. A Void Scarred Puppy. Yay!
He's one of my new little buddies. Oh, he's so cute! Okay. I like that it has Thrall shows up as green here because it shows I, I was able to defeat him while the others are still red. So, I wonder what the optional ones are in Stormwind. Yeah, this actually is not as good as what I already have, but that's fine. So it looks like I got 25 mementos for doing this. Like, that gives me the option as if I could go back somehow. But... All right, I feel a little redeemed. <laughs> After that little, you know, failed attempt I did the first time. Is there something you wish to discuss? Did you find anything of interest? Fascinating, it appears that we have our work cut out for us. I came across several references to this book in my research of Nylotha. Penned by a neophyte cultist, it's docu it documents the lies of the titans and the injustices that they inflicted upon the denizens of Azeroth. Mad ravings, indeed, to erode the reader's acceptance of reality. Still, by studying this work, we can gain a better understanding of the old gods' power and thus tailor the cloak to offer better protection against it. Bring as many pages from this tome as you can find. Okay, so just, Every you know, it's what I was saying earlier. As long as you beat Thrall, you will get the book to get more of these corrupting cores. So now I can use this. Up, oh, up, oh, screen freeze. Screen freeze. Oh no. Wow! That glitched out my entire screen! That glitched out my entire monitor! Holy mackerel! I have never encountered buggy issues like this before. Here we go, rank 2. Plus 12 corruption resistance. And it's 472. Spark of Inspiration. Releases a wave of energy from your heart, increasing the damage all party members within 15 yards deal. From 5 seconds, minor power. Your spells and abilities have a chance to increase your haste by 1 for 8 seconds and reduce the cooldown of, of your currently slotted major essence. Corruption resistance is increased by 10. Hmm. Alright. Now let's go after Rod. Do you Dad. require experimentation? We need to save him. Mother, can you find us another way inside? Acknowledged. Scanning planetary surface for related anomalies. Matching energy signature detected. Location, Veil of Eternal Blossoms. Of course. The Titan Forges. Hold on, Raden. We are coming for you. Our world needs us, champion. That portal must be the entrance to Nazoth's realm. This may be our only chance to get Rodden back and take Nazoth once and for all. Another vessel. Wait. I'm, I'm already getting... I'm already getting the quest to go into the raid and beat Nazoth? Using the Mogu's research, Mother and Rodden found a way to focus the Forge's origination protocol through the Chamber of Heart. The only problem was finding out where to shoot it. That is, until now. Take these anchors and head through that portal. You'll need to find some prominent landmarks to place them so we can focus the weapon. Once they're set, you'll be ready to fire. You'll only get one shot, so make it count. Defeat Nazoth in Nihiloth of the Waking City. Wow, I'm already getting the quest to go into the raid. So, there's really no other stories here? We already have the quest to go into the raid. That seems really fast. So, for context, when a, a patch like this first goes live, 
just to help kind of like make this point, look at this. The instance to queue up for the different wings of the new raid is not yet available. It takes a number of weeks. Now, being able to just walk in, yeah, sure. If you want to get a group together, in fact, are there, is anybody making groups to do this raid yet? I don't think so because all I see is Eternal Palace. I'm pretty sure people are not quite getting themselves, you know, not quite ready to actually go into this raid. That's just my guess. Well, I mean, at this point, I guess the idea is that now you're going to be spending time, you know, doing the extra stuff in terms of going to the assaults, collecting more stuff, uh, doing these visions and leveling up your cloak, which is going to help out in the raid, dealing with corruption resistance and such. Um, numerous of these things. I'm just surprised. It just feels so surprising that we've already gotten the quest to go to do the raid and defeat Nazoth when we can't even... I mean, technically, I suppose we could. We could be able to, I guess, walk in and do this on normal because I don't even think heroic and mythic difficulties are even available yet. So I just find it funny that it's like, oh, okay. But I'm curious about the layout of the map here. Oh my goodness, look at the lev all the different levels here. Oh, oh my i i've seen the, all the clips and images that they have released about this raid i'm very looking forward to going to this raid it looks visually it looks amazing as usual blizzard's art design team continues to be top-notch quality because wow there's the carapace and then we go in to face nazoth himself there okay so obviously, now see, here's the thing. Something happens. Nylotha, the sleeping city, has awakened under Nazoth's command. The armies of the Black Empire threaten to engulf the world and reshape it according to their master's vision. Only one hope remains, using the repaired Titan forges to eradicate the corruption once and for all. But in order to target Nazoth with the forge's power and the champions of Azeroth must venture deep into the horrific realm for one final confrontation against the old god. So, something happens to Rathian that causes him to be the first boss in this raid and face us. I mean, look at that. Look at the, the, with the lava there. And look how his horn is chipped off. Right here, he looks so much like Deathwing. So much like his father. And I guess that's probably kind of the point. <laughs> wow. Now see, this... This is one of my things that I think shows the good kind of quality of a raid. When you have an awesome boss to start it off, another awesome boss later on, kind of in the middle. In this case, it could be either Ilganoth, Vexiona, or Raden. By the way, I cannot wait to see if like doing this is what's going to lead me to getting a mount that looks just like Vexiona. And then, of course, you have another boss near the end, a big final boss, Nazoth. <laughs> Do you trust me? 18,000. So, of course, as I, was, as I was saying earlier, the idea is you're getting... Oh, and look at all the mementos you need to get if you want to get these other things. Huh. I don't know if I'd be wanting to get that, but I definitely would love to get this. Because who doesn't want to be able to have the option of a backpack? A black dragon scale backpack? Yes, please. <laughs> yes, please. Now, what's the, the achievement? We have the technology. What? What is that? Purchase all the research items in the Titanic Research Archive. Oh! By the way, yes, Illyria is our final boss in the one in Stormwind, where she apparently is so taken over by the void she is actually like i guess either killing 
her son or forcing him to serve Nazoth, her master. Again, I'll have to do it on the Alliance side in order to try and get the full context of that, but it's just kind of like, oh my gosh! Now, I, I suppose this means that because this is so short, because we've already gotten the quest to go to the raid, this is why some people are saying this patch is actually very alt-friendly. I've heard that you can actually skip some of the opening stuff that I've already shown you guys, because I've already done it on my main character. But now if you switch over and do it on alts, you'll actually be able to have the option to skip some of that stuff. So you can get right to this point where you can be able to go, you know, do all these different things to get the different resources, get the upgrades, get the gear, yada, 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 with all your alternate characters. So that I'm pretty okay with. The Faceless Mass. Hmm. Obtain a thousand Corrupted Mementos. Obviously I need to, yeah. Here's an achievement where you upgrade the cloak all the way to rank 15. So, yeah, I mean, obviously that will allow you to be able to do other stuff and get a lot more rewards. So, <laughs> so I need to research all of this. And I have 180 now. So I have enough to actually get a, another upgrade here. I can either increase the maximum sanity by 50 or I can, in, or I can have reduced damage taken and increased damage done by 5%. Huh. Uh, obviously, you know, both of these are great, and especially depending on what your class is, the dealing more damage or reduced damage taken is also kind of a big deal, you know. As I was kind of saying earlier in the previous video, when I was struggling with the fight that was going on here in the chamber, Shaman, in my opinion, this expansion has struggled. Compared to other classes I have played, like Demon Hunter, where I'm just having a blast and not really stressing out that much and just having fun because I'm, I'm tanky enough and can do a decent amount of damage that I, you know, just feel like I can handle stuff. Whereas Shaman, I feel myself constantly struggling. I feel more squishy and feel like I can't sustain as much. Now, some people say, well, that's because you're playing Enhancement. I've always had more fun playing Enhancement. I've, I've let it be known numerous times my grievances against Elemental and how it just doesn't feel as fun for me. Or what I would want it to be. Huh. And I need to decide, because either of these lets me be able to get Losing Sanity, Revive Instantly, or the first Revival cost no Nah. I'm going to get this, because this is what I want right here. Especially since I'll be doing this solo. I mean, I have a couple of friends I, I wouldn't be surprised if we're like, hey, let's do this together. But... So if I want to upgrade this, I need 250. And I need to get all three points of this if I want to get this. Yeah. All right. So since this... Yeah, let's just go ahead and... Uh, I can just go back in because I have another one of those things, right? Driven mad by Nazoth's whispers, Thrall believes that the elements warn him of a disaster that only the old god can prevent. Now all of Orgrimmar drinks the blood of Nazoth, twisting the Horde into a frenzied war machine. I've heard people you know, speculate about which level you can get up to with... Um the cloak for this initial week. I've heard some say level 4, level 5, level 6. It's too far away. I don't have a target. I don't know, oh man. This is a little risky. Let's see if I can expand a little with uh, how much I can take. Especially now that I have increased damage and can tank a little bit better.
Oops. What the? Oh, that is still showing thrall. Oh, look, it's the Corcoran Annihilator. Bonus. Zakan assisted. Champions, we've been needing your help. Hang on, Zakan. You be here just in time. My brothers and sisters in the Valley of Spirits be in danger. We got to kill that one first. Watch all. Yikes. Ouch. Watch all. What all? What all? Ow! Us corrupted totems be driving our shaman mad with whispers from the void. We need to destroy them all. I'm surprised that Zakan would be like one of the only ones who's like, I'm fine, man. That's like one of those things from beyond. Oh, this is bad. have one of these left I gotta be very careful because I want to save this for before going after the saving thrall but man doing this extra boss could be kind of rough here oh my goodness Free this other one over here. Oh gosh. Down to half sandy. This is this is not good. Play that thing? Oh boy. Look at my Sandy. This is gonna be close. Oblivion awaits. 
Silence. Ah. Oh, gosh. I'm out of range. I will find. Ah. Ah. Okay, so. Evacuation protocol. So it's doable with a, you know, but it's rough. Our sorties into Nazoth's mind place you in immense peril. We must push further into the visions, but not if we lose you to madness in the process. Hmm. I have been. So I can just come here and I can just keep purchasing these vessels. With uh, every ten thousand or so coalescing visions, which of course we can be able to to get and farm. So if I want to keep uh, attempting this, I can just keep coming here and purchasing this. All right. Learn from the past. So that gives you basically the general idea of how I'm going to be able to do this. So obviously I have some work to do in this regard. So since the option of going into me showing you guys the raid. And the whole Nazar thing is not ready yet. Or uh, rather, since I can't really do that right now, um, I, I I doubt I would be able to make it in a normal difficulty group because I'm sure they would look at my gear and be like, dude, what the heck is with your gear? So more than likely, the waiting for LFR option is going to be my only legit option. In the meantime, what I think what we're going to do next in the playthrough is heading into the dungeon for Operation Mechagon and taking down King Mechagon since I still have that to take care of. So that should be interesting. Meanwhile, I'm going to continue to work on the various different things such as the assaults, the visions. That's I can definitely see myself doing the visions, but I'm going to have to go to the assaults to get more of the, you know, the visions in order to do this. It's definitely going to be interesting. And I can see the whole, this will keep you busy for quite some time, gameplay, and keep you, you know, constantly playing some of this stuff. I did get 90, 50 and 97 Corrupted Mementos, though. In fact, let's take a look. Because I now have 177. But not enough to upgrade it again. So I have to just keep going, keeping more Corrupted Mementos. Did that really... So, how does that affect the durability of my gear? Uh, a teensy bit. That's 54 out of 55. That's 119 out of 120. So, very, very minor. So, it's going to be an interesting balancing act. And uh, But I will say, I'm actually having fun with those. It's just, you know, getting a feel for it and really learning how to do it. Keep in mind, I didn't do this... Uh, on the PTR like other people do where they already know exactly what to do. Uh, I did watch some of Preach's videos about the visions to kind of like get me prepped for it. But at the same time, it's still kind of like, okay, so, you know, trying to manage the insanity and the, cor you know, the corruption and all that. It's definitely going to be interesting. So I'm guessing at this point what I'm going to do in the next couple of videos is try to show you guys the Operation Mechagon Dungeon, which will be the first time I ever do it, so I'm going to try and just wait it out keeping us a DPS instead of a healer, because obviously not know really knowing the fights of the mechanics, even though I could look it up, it's less stressful for me to play it simply as my DPS main spec as opposed to switching to Resto. So, stay tuned! <laughs>